1's time and expense module makes it easy to track important time-based activities, assign expenses to customers and refund employees. In this video, we will show you how to configure your book for time and expense processing and how to make an expense claim. Before you get started, there are some configuration points to attend to in the time and expense configuration in general settings. You may want to activate the approval process so that an administrator must approve the transaction before it is paid. In the expense tag, where you can see the assigned prefix and the opportunity to change a template, such as adding a logo. In the transfer options tag, you can assign a tax code, modify expense accounts, and you may want a separate account for your markups and how billable time is transferred to an invoice. Next, employees making time and expense entries must be set up as an employee and a user in this book. You may want to assign them a role with the minimum permissions to carry out time and expense activities. You are now ready to process an expense claim. Click on Day to Day, Expense Claims. To add an expense claim, click on Add and notice that the claim starts in draft status. Select an employee and then complete the header details, a date, any reference code. If all the entries on this form relate to the one project or customer, enter them here and notice that the relevant column in the table is removed. In the table, you have a choice of entering the expense as an account or item. Let's select account to add a tax expense. When a customer or project is not selected in the header, you will be able to assign these independently line by line. The arrow on the left lets you show the row in either detail view or minimal view. Let's now enter our information. If you want to make this billable to a customer, select the customer and tick the billable checkbox. Select an account, add a description, an amount and tax code. You can now reduce the view by clicking the arrow. Let's now add another entry with the item option for some audio speakers. The form is much the same, but this time we are asked for an item rather than an account. You can add a note for this entry. You can also add a note for the whole expense. When done, you can save the expense. You can send the expense claim by email, say to your manager for approval. On the expense claim list, you'll see it in the draft tab. Administrators can open it and approve it. The expense can now be paid and billed to a customer. Notice on the approve list, the item is listed in the unbilled column, meaning it has been assigned to a customer, but as yet not invoiced. Your processing of an expense claim is now complete. To pay and apply this expense claim, please see the video, Paying and Applying Expense Claims. You can also view a video on Processing Timesheets. If you have any questions regarding time and expenses, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.